girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day tip on the go we are on the original setup if you watch my last episode you might know what is going on but i'm gonna say it again because i don't know every like a lot of people watch different videos um so as you know you know i told you this morning i was uh dropping my husband and my mother-in-law in disneyland so i have to drive them there it's like an hour away from uh, where i live you know and now i'm returning i'm like shit what i'm gonna do now so I'm just let's just do some videos right however you know i'm driving so don't be we're out if I am not looking at you guys or looking at the camera. It's just like, you know, a bitch is trying not to die. So uh, I'm just gonna be like, you know, driving as usual and just like talking and saying everything that we need to say. Girl, it is time to go down this pop culture streets. Like drive with me through these pop culture streets because girl, the tea is crazy. All right, um, disclaimer of the day. Guys, if you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop. Subscribe right now. But if you are not new here and you have been feeling like you don't receive any of the notifications or just a few, no, I am not doing my one to two videos a day. No, I'm still doing my five to six videos a day, okay? For some reason, YouTube is not promoting them. So there is some options. You can check the notification bell. You can uh, unsubscribe and resubscribe again. Sometimes that does the trick. Or the easiest one at the end of wherever you're watching this video or at the end of the day or wherever, come back to my main page here in YouTube. All the tea should be right there. And if you are looking for a specific show kind of tea, I have playlists for every single one of them. So you can just go. All the tea will be right there and it gets updated every single day, all right? So that's that. Okay, guys, so let's talk about Miss Sandra Bullock. Girl, American sweetheart, one of the most popular actresses in Hollywood, incredibly talented. I love Sandra Bullock. I love her movies. She has been one of those people who, you know, really, really delivers. And she is kind of like in the middle of a pickle out there. Although it literally has nothing to do with her. It's the funniest thing ever. So remember that she did a movie called The Blind Side, right? And she literally won an Oscar for it. Like, that's how good her performance was. And the whole thing, you know, um, has been one of those inspirational movies. Uh, it's based on uh, the life of... Um, the NFL star Michael O'Hare, you know, and actually this is like a very old movie, like I don't understand why this is happening just now, but the thing is like out of nowhere, this Michael guy decided to come forward basically saying that the whole story has been a lie, you know, <clears throat> and apparently the story is about this white family who adopt this kid you know he's a, a black kid you know a huge guy and you know he ended up becoming a very successful NFL player you know and there is a bunch of things that happen in the middle but like you know that's the whole idea if you haven't watched the movie so um, it's supposed to be based on his life you know it's supposed to be a true story and now this guy is coming forward saying that that was never the case, that he was never uh, adopted by this uh, family of white people, that he was very mistreated, that he was super traumatic, like he's doing, like he's talking all of these things, you know? And, well, basically meaning that the whole movie was a lie because in the movie the character that Sandra Bullock's play which is supposed to be like the mom is this like super nice woman who is super empowering and who is there for him all the time and who love him and support him you know and all of that well Michael is saying 
BS. Everything is BS. None of that actually happened. Now, imagine, I mean, at the end of, like I was saying, that, I mean, has nothing to do with Sandra Bullock, right? Well, imagine my surprise when I start seeing that everyone is trying to cancel Sandra Bullock and asking her to return her Oscar. I'm like, what? I mean, that has nothing to do with it. Yes, maybe the story is a fraud, but it's not like Sandra Bullock created the story. It's not like Sandra Bullock was like, you know, oh, I'm gonna change the whole thing. No, she was literally giving a part, you know, and she played the F out of that part, right? And that's why she won the award. The, the, the Academy Awards is for acting, okay? It's not for sports, it's not for true life events, not for that, you know, it's not a novel piece, whatever. No, it's an Oscar, okay? It's an Academy Award for best actress or best supporting actress or whatever, you know? But it is for acting. And she did a great part of that, on that movie why would she have to return the the award because the story is basically fake so a lot of people were calling her out literally calling her out canceling her like hashtag cancel sandra bullock and everything i was like it doesn't even make sense you know i i could agree on many things but on this one like it doesn't even make sense right well, it got to the point that even Michael himself had to come forward and he literally said that he didn't understand why people were asking Sandra to return the Oscar because it had nothing to do with the development of his own story. You know, it's like, he's like, I mean, okay, the story might be fake, so it's just like any other movie. It's still an inspirational movie. It's still, you know, give you a great message. And even he himself, who is, you know, portrayed on the movie, is like, girl, like, the problem is not a, is not with the movie. The problem is that, you know, I was mistreated by this white family who never uh, adopted me or did anything nice for me. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know, you know, like... To me, it honestly doesn't make sense. He doesn't think that it makes any sense. So I don't know why the haters are being so extra when it comes to this, right? I mean, I understand maybe why, you know, but again, it's not, it, it, Sandra had nothing to do with this. So she, she, she was giving a job and she did an amazing job, you know, so it's just the way that it is so i don't know so anyways uh, let me know what you guys think on uh, the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to this pop culture street make sure to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel guys remember i have a podcast it's called let's talk about this mess dropping episodes every monday with very special guests and very exclusive tea so make sure to check it out it's on patreon the link is on the description below and i'll see you around See ya. Bye.